Hi guys, it's Kara again. And today I'm gonna to follow on from my last video where I talked about getting set up for teaching. And today I'm gonna to talk about when we are actually ready to teach online and some top tips for our online classroom. So following on from my last video where we talked about getting set up and our internet and our background, of course, we wanna check all of these things before we enter into our class. So we will do a device test just to make sure that our internet is working, same with our headphones and our webcam also. I would also recommend just to check how much battery your device has left and plug it in if it needs be. The last thing you want is for your device to die midway through a lesson. And um, trust me, I am speaking from experience on this one. So do make sure that you plug your laptop or whatever device you're using in before you start your lessons. As well as this, we just wanna make sure that our background has enough lighting and that we are in the center of our screen with a big smile ready to welcome our students into class. We often talk about mirrored energy and um, our student being able to vibe off us. And so we wanna make sure that we are welcoming and friendly and maintain a high energy and a professional atmosphere within our class so that our students also maintain a high energy and they enjoy learning from us. Another thing that I would recommend then, of course, we are all going to preview our material so that we know our learning goals and we can prepare some extra props and extra materials this way. But I would also just have some general props that we can use for general interaction with our students and also maybe keep a list of some extra questions or some extra games or activities that you can use if you have a little bit of extra time. I stick mine on the wall behind my laptop and I find this really, really useful. The last thing that I'm gonna to say to you guys then as well is make sure that you use the tools provided for you on whatever platform you're teaching with. Make sure that you use the highlighter or to leave the students written feedback because most of our students will be able to go back and have a look over the lesson that we have taught them. So it's always nice to have some written feedback, corrections or highlighted bits and pieces throughout the slides. I hope this helped you out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, if there's anything here that you thought of that I didn't mention, then please feel free to share. Stay tuned and the next time I will look at some top tips for when we are finished class and on giving feedback to our students also. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. See you next time.